So today there was a garbage truck parking beside our parking lot, and um, we came in, and uh, you know, the thing just messed up my whole senses. I don't even know what my nose is smelling right now, because it's, is there a nose there? So the usuals, I'm out for breakfast already, yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start eating this. So there wasn't much to do at work today. In my head I was actually at home. I was just thinking of what to do when I reach home. And uh, I'm just gonna go continue editing my videos and writing my stuff, you know. I have a lot of things to do. But first, I work out. So I'm done. No, everything's painting right now. Just need to go take a shower. All right, I just want to share this quick tip with you guys about saving. I'm not talking about saving money, okay? I'm talking about saving ideas, saving um, thoughts, you know, everything that comes to your head. Well, this is a method I learned a long time ago. Well, I can't actually remember where I learned it from, but the idea is anything that comes to your mind, no matter how small, just write it down, anything. If it's a phrase, a word, a sentence, whatever it is, anything that comes to your mind, just write it down. And now that we're in an advanced world, you know, you just use your phone, get your phone, type in whatever comes to your mind. Like any idea you have, any innovative idea that comes to your head, any thought, you know, things that might work later, just get your phone, type it down and save it. Because sometimes we tend to rely on our minds and you know our heads are always kind of full with other things that we are thinking of and when you rely on your mind just your mind it would just kind of take in other things that are coming in and push out that one that isn't that relevant at the moment so if you write it down the idea is whenever you need it you will come and find it there but if you rely on your mind to keep it Whatever comes in new will push out the old one. And not to even say the thing won't actually be relevant at the moment. It's actually kind of a future thing. So, you know, the mind always kind of takes what's in the present, gives you the energy to solve what is at the present moment. I just don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but I'm really, really tired. Like, I I don't even feel like I can take myself home. I, I wish someone would just come and take me home. Ten, twenty, I don't mind, I don't mean. Say Rubens. Oh, Also, I know we didn't have much time this week and I didn't post any task or anything. I was so, so, so overwhelmed with work and office and I actually didn't have time to do much on my own project. So I just came back from office right now and I think it's already past 10 and I know I haven't been able to do much this week. But luckily, anytime I get a free time, you know, even if it's just five to 10 minutes, I try my best to just go shoot a video, say something at least that someone might benefit from. But anyway, I'll just add with this thing that I've always kind of wanted to talk about. You know, it just came to my mind right now. Let me just try talking about this. In the kind of society we are, we are kind of raised to be normal, to just act like everyone else, to always do what everyone else does, to always do what everyone else is doing. We are always raised with this kind of mindsets of following. We're always taught how to follow, but never taught how to lead. 
and you know we've been singing this in our primary school rhymes and everything we are the leaders of tomorrow but i wonder when that tomorrow will come because it's like we're still living in the day before yesterday the problem here is we are taught from a very young age something that kind of destroys our whole self-esteem and self-confidence and this thing is nothing other than limiting beliefs so you grow up hearing you cannot you cannot you cannot and never you can you can you can so that you cannot always goes into your mind and you know kind of take over everything so you always have this mindset that if this is dangerous i cannot if this is risky i cannot that mindset sticks in your head you have this belief that whatever other people do not do is dangerous for you and it's risky so you cannot do that in some cases it is kind of forced on people you know people are forced to be normal people are forced to you know do what everyone is doing but given the chance and opportunity there are a lot of people that will not do what other people do you know there are a lot of creative people out there there are a lot of people who have these dreams and fantasies in their heads but if you have that spark in you that spark that tells you there's something that you are worth there's something that you can do there's something that you can achieve why not give it a try just do something try something start small you know everything big start small at least start small do something you think you can even with the pressure of other people trying to make you be normal and also i believe that we can really change if you want to change. So I hope this message helps you if you're in the process of changing or maybe trying to start changing. I hope this video will help you. So that being said, I'll see you next week.